All right. Hopefully, um, this tutorial is going to show you how to run ISS seven point five <coughs> and um, WAMP together because a lot of a lot of us are doing ASP .NET, um, ASP and WAMP server. You can configure WAMP to do it, um, but uh, I haven't had much success with it. Plus, Microsoft gives you some sweet tools that are free to use, so might as well use them. Um, basically, anyway, um, once you've en enabled I um, IS and you you know go to the web platform installer and say you got Visual Web Developer and all that stuff, all the newest updates and 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 my and Microsoft Server 2008. Um, <clears throat> you you basically um, you know can just you know go there and. And, you know, use the web platform installer to install all those applications. And so then, when you go to localhost, by default, um, it's going to give you um, it's it's going to give you your ISS thing. But I've also added a couple links to my WAMP and my PHP my admin. Right now, when you when you first update it and you go to localhost, um, it'll say you know when you first update to ISS seven point five, um, WAMP server won't start on on. It on normal localhost, so you can't just do the, you can't just do the stop all services and then turn on your WAMP. It's not going to work at all. So I'm going to show you how um, to do that. And basically, um, what we're going to do, that's my WAMP server. Um, basically, what we're going to do, let's go to your WAMP server. I have an old, older version of WAMP, but it's the same thing. I've done it on the newest version. Um, anyway, we're going to go into Apache, um, HTT. Um, Deconfig or whatever. We're gonna load that up in Notepad, and then you're gonna um, find 80 and hit Find Next. I'm gonna find 81 because I already did it. But basically, um, you'll see this. Listen, and it'll, yours will say Listen on port 80, but I've changed that to 181. And then Control, and then there's another one down there. And then, you know, server name, local host, um, eight one eight one. It'll it'll just say eighty normally, but you're gonna want to change it to eight one, you know, eight one eight one. You know, save that. And then um, what you're gonna have to do is close that HTTP config, restart all services, and it'll it and it'll work for you. So basically, what we're gonna do now is is people hate this, but when you do this, this these links on the side here, localhost and PHP my admin, still go to um, you know localhost, right? So we want to change that. So what we do is we go to you know in our WAMP folder wherever it's installed. You gotta go down here and find WAMP WAMP manager .tpl, Open that up, and it gives you something like this basically what you're gonna do is can you know control F find localhost and around line 20 one um, 120 ish there will be um, parameters equals HTTP yours will say localhost you want to change that to whatever port you just changed it to also PHP my admin right then um, once you save that so you can see I've changed it to 8181 and PHP my admin is 8181 <clears throat> save that and then, in order in order to make it work, you have to basically um, not just restart. You have to do a, you have to exit it, um, then turn back WAMP on. And it's gonna go white. Then when we go localhost, it'll go to that address localhost eight one um, eight one eight one. So now, because um, ISS kind of takes over, um, <clears throat> or ISS seven with the new service pack and whatever, um, takes, you know, kind of takes over the local host environment. Um, and when we go to our host file in in this address, uh, you know, window Windows slash System thirty two slash driver slash uh and open up your host file. Uh, make sure that you have. You know, this is this is basically what I'm running right now. Okay, so don't save. So also, um, so basically, I've I've just opened this up and now and and just put it a link to my admin. So now, um, I don't have to 
it's after the restart, I don't have to stop services. I don't have to do anything. I can just work on two projects, one ASP.NET, one PHP at the same time. So hopefully that helps.